this is a very unique piece of merchandise that I never really saw coming, but I know that when I saw it, I thought that it was perhaps one of the coolest things I have seen for a while. This is what it comes with. It comes with various pieces to all these puzzles, and what it, what it is, is it's very much what it says on the tin. It says here on the blurb that when you play with this Riddler puzzle box by Edward Nigma, this is going to be something where you experience and live Gotham City with a one-of-a-kind immersive product, the Riddler puzzle box. It has four awesome and challenging puzzles created by the Riddler himself to unlock the ultimate payoff prize, a one-to-one -one scale metal battering. Every puzzle will put your Batman knowledge to the test, so become the world's greatest detective with the Riddler puzzle box. So that's what you're trying to do with this thing. You're trying to unlock this battering that we see right here, which apparently is made of metal. And that's pretty cool. It looks like it's a pretty well-detailed battering. I have to imagine that, like, just the experience of solving these puzzles is just the selling point, not necessarily the metal battering, although the metal battering is pretty cool in of itself. I think this thing folds over. I haven't seen too much of the product yet, but it looks like it has some little segments here where the battering folds over and fits inside the box. What else does it include? It includes the battering. It features four challenging Batman-themed puzzles, obviously. What else is it going to be themed on? Spider-Man? Superman? No, the Riddler doesn't have the class to fight any of those villains. And it features clever nods to other Bat family characters like Robin, Nightwing, and Batgirl. It includes a variety of paper clues, which probably means I'm going to wind up tearing them and perhaps trashing them at some point. And <laughs> not even on purpose. <laughs> Where are these available at? Okay, so it's available at like specialty collectible retailers like Amazon, GameStop, McFarlane's own toy store, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, those kinds of places. Oh, actually, you know, I'm looking at this right now and thinking to myself that this would be a fun thing to like do on stream, to solve all the puzzles on this puzzle box on stream. That would be a lot of fun, actually. This is like $100, I think. And if we click on the Big Bad Toy Store link and we go down, yes, it is $100. So be prepared for that, guys. It will be $100 if you want to get yourself a Riddler puzzle box. But, I mean, it does look pretty sweet. I like this a lot. This is one of, like, the more creative choices, I think, that McFarlane Toys has made for a DC-themed release recently. Puzzle Box includes Distress Deco and Fall Faux Metal Finishes. Let's have ourselves another look right there. Okay, yeah, there's all the stuff. What does this do? Okay, there's a keyboard on there, or a number, uh, a numerical pad, rather. I don't know what that's going to do. There's a little something. What does that contain? Does that contain a clue or the battering? I wonder how difficult all these puzzles are going to be. Oh, 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 this is what the, the numerical pad is used for. It's in reference to this. Oh, that's interesting. You know what this reminds me a lot of? This reminds me of the beginning of Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery, where all the people who get invited to the party are sent that puzzle box, and they have to solve all the puzzles to get their invitation to the party by this guy played by Edward Norton. And what does that do up there? There's a little question mark on top with all those tiles. I wonder if that's a puzzle in of itself. There's four puzzles on this thing, and I really want to find out what all the puzzles are. Oh, 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 you know what? I bet that this is for, like, the topmost lid or something. This right here with all these buttons. It looks like there's some markings on those, and I wonder if those are indicative of anything. I don't know. I play a lot of uh, puzzle games and stuff. And I look at this, and it just kind of gets my wheels turning, and I really want to solve it now. I don't know how exciting of a stream it would be for me to bring this on and solve it on the air, but I, I feel like it would be fun for me, at least. For everyone else, they might get kind of bored, but I kind of like to do it. Oh, this is like a little safe. Oh, okay. So we got to find a combination of that, I think. And what, what is, what's this all about? 
does something go in there? Do we have to solve something? I got so many questions now, and I guess they're only going to get answered if I buy this puzzle box. I don't know. Is it worth $100? Do, do we want to spend $100 on this? I'm looking at this and looking at the intricacy of it, and I'm thinking to myself, this might be worth $100 just because it's a nice piece of real, in-world, like, Batman memorabilia. Like, where else are you going to find a Riddler puzzle box? For $100, I'm, I'm seriously thinking about it. Is that like the bottom of it, or is that the box that it comes in? I think it's the box that it comes in. The Riddler puzzle box of Edward Nigma. Yeah, there's the box. That's what it looks like. That's definitely the box. So it's going to come in a little box like this, a standard issue cardboard box. No great surprise, I suppose. So I guess that the battering goes in that little drawer there, and that kind of makes sense because it's got to go somewhere, right? It folds up and goes into that little drawer, and you solve all the puzzles on here in order to get to it. Yeah, this is like one of my favorite pieces of Batman merchandise in a while. Oh, this is so cool. Well, it's $100, so I, I mean, obviously, you really, you really have to think about it. Especially if you got your budget on various other toys already. Oh, look at that. It shows us all the little different things that it has. There's Wayne Industries Bards, or Lucius Fox, and Bruce Wayne right there. There's Lucius, there's Wayne. And I think that goes in one of those card slots over on the box someplace. Like right there. Yeah, right there. And that probably has something to do with the bank puzzle. And there's a little business card that Edward Nigma has altered. Uh, I guess he wants to say hi. He's just crossing off the season's greetings. You know what? Good for the Riddler for going green, I guess. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's a little newspaper fold out and stuff. Oh, dude. This is really, really neat. And look at that question mark. It looks like it was, it looks like it was just drawn by some dude, which I guess is kind of the point, right? Because the Riddler probably isn't going to go to great lengths to do a bunch of graphic design and everything. He's probably just going to uh, do a quick marker job and get it done. That seems like the kind of thing the Riddler does. Like, he'll spend a little bit of time making his little artwork here and there, and he won't do, go real fancy with it. But once he, gets to, once he gets to engineering a puzzle box or something, he'll go all out for that and make it all crazy and stuff. I love it. I don't know if anyone else loves it, but I love it. I'm glad that we got to take a look at this today, because I'm, I'm kind of hyped now just looking at it, man. 